Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I like to create my ACF front end forms using Jet Form Builder. And here's a really simple demo of how this is going to work. So as you can see right here, uh, I'm logged in as a user. And what I wanted to do is have the ability to have the user be able to edit their form right here without having to go into the back end of the post or anything like that. So if I just go ahead and add like the word test right here and hit submit, what this is going to do is save that into that specific ACF field and then automatically will update right here on the website. So let me jump into the back end and show you how everything is set up. Now I'm going to jump over into ACF and show you how I have that form set up. So if I jump over into my field groups, I have this one here called event information. And as you can see, it's a very simple, you know, one form right here. What I did is I pulled in a WYSIWYG editor and this right here is going to be really important. So once you have your ACF field name, what I recommend is just copying that to your clipboard because you're going to be using that later in the Jet Form Builder. And very simple. I don't have any other additional options or anything like that. And I just have it where in this example, I'm just targeting the specific page I showed you. So now that you know how the ACF is set up, now let's jump over into Jet Form Builder and get this thing all built. So now if I jump over into Jet Form Builder, click on Forms. Let's go ahead and add this ACF form. So just go ahead and click add new and give it a title. I'm just going to call this one ACF event information. And then what I like to do is this button right here. I just click from scratch because I don't really need anything like along those lines. And I can see right down here, it added one simple input uh, field. And what I like to do is in this situation, you could just click here and I'm going to transform that into a WYSIWYG editor or WYSIWYG field. So just go ahead and click that. Or you could also click up here at the plus button and underneath your jet form fields, they're going to give you all of these different options. So you could also just click and drag in the WYSIWYG. But let's go ahead and just transform that one over. Now what we need to do is enable some settings in order to make sure that this form is all synced to your ACF field. So this is the order that I prefer to go in. And the first thing is make sure that you have your WYSIWYG uh, block right here selected. Click up here where it says block. And you can give it a field label. So in this information is just called like event information. And then you're going to want to make sure you paste in your ACF meta field right here. So if we go back into your ACF field and you want to copy this one right here, this is your ACF meta field. And that's what needs to be right here. So we're actually going to be adding this into three different sections. So if you don't add your ACF meta field in three different sections like this, it's all not going to sync correctly. So that's the first one I recommend is go into block, add it right here. Now we can jump over into jet form and then underneath your post submit actions, you can go ahead and just delete the one that's automatic, click new action again, and you're going to want to choose this one right here called insert update post. Go ahead and choose that. Now click the pencil icon underneath your post type, choose your post type. So in this case, I'm just using like a sample uh, pages, but you may be using post or down here, I have like a custom post type. So choose whatever is going to you know work for your website. And then underneath post status, I like to put this to published. And then this is really important right here. It says post ID. Go ahead and choose this first option right here. It says post ID will update the post. If you don't choose this one, it's not going to update the post correctly. And then this right here, event information, that is the block name that we just gave it. So go ahead and choose that. And then choose right here where it says post meta. So this is where we're going to paste in that ACF meta field again, and then just hit update. And then we need to enable one other setting. And that is underneath right here where it says preset settings, enable that. Choose right here where it says post. And then get post ID, make sure you choose current post. Uh, you can keep this by default like that, or you can choose post ID. It doesn't really matter. And then we need to add right down here, the event information block. We need to enable post meta and then paste that in one more time. So again, you need to make sure that you have that in three different locations. Once you have your jet form builder all built out, what you can do now is drop it on the page that is going to have that meta information that you want the user to update. Then you just go over into Elementor and just type in form and you're going to see this one right here called jet form. Just go ahead and click that onto your page. And then right down here where it says choose form, you're going to choose the one that we just created. So that was called ACF event information. 
Once you do that, you should see it populate right here in a second. And then right down here, there's some different settings you can choose. Um, the most important one is your uh, submit type. You're gonna probably wanna make sure that it's on page reload. So that way the user will hit submit, it will reload the page and then pull in the new information. And then of course, just like any other Elementor widget, they give you tons of different options to customize you know, the styling. But now let's go ahead and hit update and just make sure everything works on this page. And here we are on the front end of that page and let's just delete all of this and just say like test, um, recording this right now at like 1002. So I'll just do like test 1002, hit submit. So now that that updated, let's go into the page and make sure that that information got added correctly. So on the back end of that page, if I scroll down into this section right here, I have it called event information and you can see that it's uh, updated correctly right here. Now let's go ahead and do the reverse and just make sure that that's working you know, correctly again. So now it's 10.03. Let me just update it on the back end, hit save. And then I'm gonna reload this page right here and it should now say test 10.03. And yep, that worked correctly. And then I like to always just do one more test and just hit like B. I like to always do back and forth, make sure it works. So if I hit refresh on the back end of this page, you should see dash B now automatically updated inside this ACF field. And yep, it seems like everything is working correctly. And that's it for this video on how to create an ACF front end form using Jet Form Builder. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to create more content around Jet Form Builder. Thanks for watching. This is Mark from Wiki Design.